who's ready for another mystery. Today, I have clue number five of the mystery crochet along. Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. We have clue number five of a 10 week clue mystery of an afghan that we've been putting together. If you've been following us throughout the weeks you're going to notice that things are looking pretty complicated but you've been able to manage it so far. Today's clue we are just doing one more round around your granny square and these are all going to still be separate from each other because in the next clues we're going to start joining things together. So for this one we just have to simply just look carefully on where the final revolution goes around the granny square. Of course if you need the more information that is required for the written instructions or even a pattern diagram that's also available and you can look for the more information of this video in order to be able to find that. So let's get started right now. So here's a preview to week number five. We're going to be adding a center piece just like so. I'm going to talk about the colors that you need to do and basically it's just riding on top just like see so you don't see it popping out through the bottom. We talked about that as well coming up. So today we're going to move to week number five and this is now week number four as you can see here and we're going to be adding a center ring just in the center here. Really easy to follow. You're going to need contrast color C. So if you're not sure of your colors right now the main color is A and then we did the cross which is B and then we did the pink which is C and then the green here which is D. Your colors will obviously be different if you're not following exactly what I'm doing. So you just have to do the C color. In my case it's the bubblegum pink here and then we're going to play it right in the center. So let me show you the diagram. So here's the diagram here and the things in red are what we're going to be doing. This is a really easy round start and stop and just bada boom bada bang. So they've highlighted this going out like so. This is just to indicate to you where you're going to be playing on the square. You are not doing this. You've already done it in the past. So today we're just going to be doing the red and these are called clusters and you will see the instructions and the written words what exactly those mean but we're obviously going to be covering that here on the tutorial as well. So without further ado let's begin. So to begin I'm just going to create a slip knot to start. You can join it any way that you want. This is how I prefer to do it for myself and what we want to do is that we're going to be playing into the four points of you see. So you have one, two, three and four. So I'm just going to start off here because it's just easier right here and go behind the actual post itself. Okay so go right in behind. So you just lift it up and go right behind there and let's just move both of those uh, straggler and the yarn and let's attach it together. So, okay, so I'm gonna leave the other straggler out and I'll use a darning needle to hide those in afterward. And now I want to chain five. So one, two, three, four, and five. So what we're going to do is start off with our first cluster. Let me show you how to do that. For the clusters, they are trebles. So we want to make sure we wrap twice. But this time, what we're not going to do is that we're not going to go around the front post, okay? We are going to go right to the very beginning to, to the fifth crochet chain. And then we're just going to pull through and then pull through two and two and hold. So do not finish that stitch. We want to get a total of of three more of those on there. So we want to wrap and wrap going into the exact same chain and pull through two and two and hold. Okay and we gotta do that one more time. So just wrap and wrap into the same chain and pull through two like this and two and hold. So now you have four on your hook which is what you need and essentially what we're going to do is that we're just gonna pull through all four of those. But wait we're not done yet. So now that we have everything together we need to go to the next point. Okay and you just go to the next one over and we just want to slip stitch behind the post. So the front post and just slip stitch it. So we're just gonna grab the yarn and pull through and through just like this. So now we want to restart what we already know. So we're gonna do this again. So we're gonna chain five, one, two, three, four and five and now we're going to do another cluster. So we're gonna wrap twice in fifth chain from the hook. Okay and we're just gonna go in and pull through two and two. Okay wrap twice into into again. So you want a total of what appears to be four posts going from your 
hook. So they have three now and wrap and wrap and pull through two and two. Now that you have your four on here, pull through everything and then what we have to do is then go to the next point like so just in behind it's a front post and just pull through and through it's a slip stitch like this. So we're gonna do it again. So chain five, one, two, th two, three, four, and five. Okay, wrap and wrap. Fifth, go to the fifth chain. Just count it back if you want to and just begin to do your clusters all over again. That's how you just do this whole uh, simple step. It's really easy and I'll meet you back when at the beginning and we'll just fasten off and then call this done for mystery clue number five. So I'm just finishing the final one. I'm pulling through all four loops and then I'm just going to slip stitch it to the very beginning of where we started and I wanna fasten on off my end at this point and just weave in my tail ends and you will notice that this is completely done at this point. So really easy. Just wanna use a darning needle, hide in my loose ends and I'm good to go. So you'll notice that these will sit kind of over top of it just like so and uh, it'll probably sit flat like this or you can open it. It depends on two. It's really kind of neat. So um, that's it for today. So that's it for clue number five. So until next week, uh, stay tuned. Next week we have two sets of clues uh, coming along and it's going to be an exciting time to be part of the crochet mystery along or the mystery crochet along. However you wanna say it, it's happening right here on the Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host Mikey. Bye.